Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing The Juliet Spell by Douglas Rees and I thought I'd change up the surroundings and now I'm actually behind my bookshelf or before my bookshelf. So yeah, I figured it doesn't really make sense for me to be, just be sitting in random places. I should have like a set spot, but whatever. Okay, I should get to the point. So this book was about a girl who her name is Miranda and she's desperately trying out for the part of Juliet in her high school play. And when she realizes that she's not going to get it, she goes home that night. The interruption. Oh, she goes home that night and makes and does a spell from this random book that came out of randomly nowhere. And um she sort of wishes to be Juliet. But instead of being Juliet, she gets someone thrown into her time period, and that someone is Edmund Shakespeare, who is William Shakespeare's younger brother. And that's not a spoiler, because that happens, like, in the first chapter. And it's on the back. So it's sort of about her, her in the play, and, like, sort of, like, being with Edmund and how Edmund is adjusting, because he, this is a lot. Everything is new to him. Electricity is new to him. So it was great for any Shakespeare fans and people who um, are a fan of reading about theater. This is perfect because you actually did see everything. Like I've read about books that take place with when the characters like in a play. So but this one had like set stages, all the technical things they went into and I thought that was really cool because you could actually like, I actually felt like I was in the play. Like not obviously acting, but you could, you could get into it. It is also basically a romance novel. You can tell from the synopsis who gets together, but yeah. I had a lot of conflicting emotions with this book. I went from moments that I really didn't like it and I wanted to read other things to moments when it was like cute and funny. I think my main issue was how it was written. Not like that it was a bad writer, but every time Edmund had lines or dialogue, which was a lot, he would always talk in Old English, and that's how the author wrote in. So it was like, ye, this, tis. And that's fine if you do it once or twice, but that was that was throughout the whole book he spoke like that. It, it, I'll try to find it. Oh, right here he says milady. Um... Here. I'll just show you right here. But it got annoying really fast. And I think that was my main issue just because that really annoyed me. Again, this is personal, so I mean, if this doesn't affect you, it's a really small thing that can affect some people but not others. So, like, that was my main issue. The other thing was that there wasn't very much character development by the end of the book. And at the end of the book, I felt Miranda was really unsatisfied, and in the writing it said stuff like that. It, it, it showed that she was unsatisfied. So that makes the reader unsatisfied by how things ended. Miranda was still kind of blind-eyed to what was in front of her, in emotionally, emotional-wise. And then he didn't really develop, he just adapted. And then these two characters, Drew and Bobby, who were also in the play, I felt like they had no need to be in the book as much as they were, especially Bobby, so I think that was another issue that I had because it doesn't make sense when there are characters that you don't need to be there. I can see why they needed Drew, but I can't see why they needed Bobby. He was just unnecessary, kind of. He was, like, it would be okay if I actually liked him, but he was sort of just there, you know, just there. But other than that, I thought it was really fun. I said how you got into the theater a lot, and that was really fun to read about. The whole thing sort of goes through what happens with the play. So it centers around the play and how the characters are revolving around it. And also the whole mysterious scientific thing with Edmund and how he's there. They actually do go into depth with that and do a lot of science talk, which I'm not even ashamed to say that I did not understand at the end of the book what happened. They talked about all these different theories and stuff, and I don't know. They just didn't all tie together, and I thought the science stuff was cool because I do love science, but this was, it just, it was too much too overwhelming. They talk, there was this Dr. D, he's the mysterious Dr. D from Edmund's time, and he was the one who sort of 
was all scientific. I don't know. When all the scientific stuff in the magic thing, where did the spell come from? They didn't even cover the magic stuff at the beginning. Spell. They didn't cover that. Um, it, it was just too much, too overwhelming, too many loose ends when it came to the science and magic stuff. But it was interesting for what I could, like, understand. Again, I think I mentioned this earlier in the book, but I, earlier in the review, but I recommend this to Shakespeare fans, readers who like to read about theater, and someone just looking for a romance novel. I gave this book three out of five stars. It was not amazing. It was, it left some strings out some loose plot ends that I didn't really enjoy not knowing about but other than that it was a good romance novel so yeah this is a long review thanks guys for watching